Alright, this is the dump pile for the abandoned Bavert mines. That was the main pit where the mine. That's the tailings dumped from the tailings. The tailings from the uh, asbestos is what they were mining here. Down here is uh, goes down towards the uh, deep water port, and these are all just rock dump piles. Mountains, really. So, if you go from this rock dump pile here to this hilltop, which is where the graphite's located, and then if you look here, you'll see a little bit of a, a cut clearing. That's a copper deposit. In between those two is uh, basically gold, and right here is a, the largest deposit, which is unknown mineral. Could be graphite, could be gold, could be copper, could be cobalt. But the overall vision or plan is this is basically 25 square kilometers with four deposits on it. We put a three kilometer road basically from here to here. We turn this into a production primary, secondary, uh, and then paint facility, composite facility, cement facility and then we basically take the product down to the deep water port and then we're, we have international markets so basically we go out here we go south to the eastern seaboard this here is um, the horse islands over this way we got the UK and we go up around Newfoundland Labrador we're up to the Northwest Passage which we can deliver to China the Asian countries so basically about uh, 15 kilometers from here is Bay Vert this road here ends up going to what's called Coachman's Cove and Fur Lee to fishing outports and uh, what a place for a wind farm you're up here on the top of the hill there's a lot of wind so if we want to reclimate a mine site turn it into something this would be perfect for a wind uh, facility. I mean, if somebody could take this and turn this into an aquaponics facility, but if we do the graphite mines, basically we can use this water supply, which is protected uh, for a um, cycling water for the facility. Basically with the graphite, what you do is you mine it, you crush it, you float it out, and you can get up to, our deposits anywhere from 60 to 58% Graphite large flakes, 60-70%. You come, bring it over here, you crush it, float it, get out the graphene up to 80-90-90%, pure graphite to make graphene, which is the mineral mineral for the future. And potentially there's a hundred million ton deposit, which is if this is 30-40 years of mining and you got this as the waste product. We can get, a, that's probably about 100 million tons there, I guess, I don't know, it's a lot of material. So if we can get this out of an open pit, and then you got the copper open pit, the gold can be extracted from both processes through the float, and then basically you look across this tailings pit, that's a um, pine cove, that's a gold mine, copper mine, and if you further go up here, there's Rambler, and there's a that's a copper operation and basically an hour or so away is a nugget pond which is a gold uh, processing facility so we got all we need right here in this area the uh, power the water supply for the mine was coming from a pond over here and the power supply line is going over this ridge over here so uh, the power line is there, it may have to be upgraded. Basically we have our water supply. We come in, we hydro seed this whole area, especially the pit, it stops the asbestos or the waste from blowing across the trees and uh, safe for the workers. Then we can mine this up here, level it off, 
the, and then go over here basically they scrape the overburning and uh, either truck it or conveyor belt over and uh, we could have uh, three or four or five hundred people working in a facility like this here with uh, 40 years mining in the, in the pits and then uh, once we got the deep water port then we're able to ship graphite into our port for us to process from the other 20 deposits that are up in Labrador along the coastline we can capture that so we have a huge opportunity in Newfoundland Labrador to start a, a, a brand new industry worth billions to trillions of dollars in secondary processing and this is the idea vision that I have and if you think that this is something that you want to be a part of and join me and support me to do this for our area for Newfoundland and basically for the world because the products that we make from graphene is amazing. <laughs> from taking the salt water to making, uh, making fresh water by just running water, the salt water through a graphene filter. Gravity flow even, that's how good this stuff is. You don't have to force it through, just gravity will just take the salt water, take the salt out of the water. Uh, graphite, graphene is uh, 200 times stronger than the steel, it's transparent, it's conductive, it uh, protects from EMF uh, radio frequencies, microwave frequencies, uh, you can make paint out of it to create solar paint to put on your roof of your homes, you can basically, if this was a paved road, you can put the graphite into the pavement, uh, it will give you uh, longer life. You can actually heat the pavement up then to melt the snow, so you're reducing the $75 million that it costs Newfoundland Labradorians to uh, plow our roads and uh, keep them safe. Now we have a better system, which would actually add to the life of the road because you will not get the breakup of the, the cold frost to heave the buckling and bend in the pavement because it's always going to be warm and it's going to warm up probably six inches of the ground underneath so that will act like a slick so that the road will basically float over the frozen permafrost in the winter time so you know and then uh, you can take the uh, graphite add it into cement you create 50% uh, structural cement which will be huge for the graph or for the uh, construction industry so imagine all these roads that have been falling apart after 20 30 years now we can put graphite into the cement and the, ro and the roads, bridges, etc. will probably last 60 to 100 years. So the savings there. Uh, with regards to the ships that come in, we can paint the hulls of the ship. And we're basically with graphite paint, which acts as a preservative, so now you get a longer life out of your ship because it doesn't rust. And you get fuel savings because the water will slip through the water, uh, water easier with less resistance. So up to a 30% fuel savings. So that's huge in the marine industry. So the importance of a graphite mines in Newfoundland and Labrador at this particular time to bring work to our people, to bring long-term prosperity to the island, to build up with the GDP, and to reduce our debt can be to nil, and, and we can be a profitable, I say nation, because, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador should be on its own like Iceland is. We, we need to be for the people, not for the um, uh, people that want to take our natural resources for themselves. we got to share our natural resources, and this can be shared. Uh, if the people want to get together and make this happen, we can do it. If an individual with the finances basically is going to cost 100 to $250 million to put into facilities, completely do this operation, and then we got basically this one hill is worth between three to twelve billion dollars just right there so I mean we take that and we make that into products we're talking hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars over 40 60 years so if that doesn't get Newfoundland out of debt nothing will I can guarantee you that because no one else is doing what should be done for Newfoundland and Labrador and this is a major product project that we can develop. It's basically just sitting here, waiting for shovels to go into the ground, you know? This could be started up tomorrow with the right financing and with the right people on board, you know? There's nothing here that, that's gonna ruin the environment because the environment is re basically ruined, but if anything, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna produce something that's valuable, right? And then after that's done, you just clear off this whole area and, and now you got a wind farm that you can have here. I mean, there's so much wind up here. You know, this is what you call visionary stuff. You know, people can 
look and see what can be done here. Potential. There's a huge potential. And it's just being wasted. That's myself included. Anyway, hopefully, and this is a duck island. There's gold down around here. Right on the surface. But uh, the graphite is more important to me than the gold right now. Because we know we can do so much more with the graphite. It's amazing. Anyway, have a great day, Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday. First day of September. And uh, so we're pushing this graphite mines. We had a couple investors having a meeting there Friday, so I gotta call up and see where that's situated. But we figure maybe 200 mi or 200 million, two million probably to hydro see this whole area. Basically, you just come in, you see this light patch, that's sodus. You take that sodus, you mix it with seeds in it, some newsprint, and you just put it in a truck, and you just come up here and spray it around and uh, hydro seed the whole thing. And in a couple of years, this place will be all be green, which is what should have been done years ago. But uh, uh, all he did was basically tear down the buildings that were here, flatten it, buried it up. Uh, there's a flat area there that was a building. Processing facility was here. They had a conveyor belt that went up here, dumped off all the tailings. So imagine 40 years of dump. So it would take a long time to get all of this material out of there if we were to use it, the mica and silica. There's a... I mean, there's value in this. All right, have a great day. The blue, blue waters. Newfoundland, Labrador. Big area.